it's so cool that you meet people from across Canada because there's so few opportunities to get together with people from all over. On Friday, City News brought you here the technical exhibition for the Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race. And now it's a race day. Hundreds of engineering students from across Canada made their way here on Saturday at Groupe Plein Air Terre, but just north of Montreal, it's the city's turn to host this year. And these students are ready to compete in North America's largest and longest running engineering competition. ULE Engineering UFD, let's get ULE. We made it and now it's sunny. It's definitely not as cold as it could be, which is all things considered amazing for a race day. <laughs> What was the speed you were going at? Uh, they said we got around 32 kilometers per hour. Hey, good job. Uh, this competition really encourages like freedom of creativity, but kind of the main rules are you have to have your toboggan fit within the shipping crate. Then we have a weight limit, so 350 pounds or a toboggan must weigh. Uh, we have to have a working braking, steering system, and all running surfaces that touch the snow have to be made completely out of concrete. Toboggan! <laughs> We are definitely going to slide down. Let's do this. <laughs> we are now here with the circle of death. Yeah! So tell us, you are from a, a Waterloo uh, alumni 1998. What made you create this? Uh, uh, um, it was a, kind of a, actually a joke toboggan, a second toboggan from our team. At the time, the rules were a little different. The toboggan had to have a concrete running surface, a braking system, and a roll cage. <laughs> The overall winners, University of Toronto, and while not all the toboggans made it down the hill, <laughs> the circle of death surely did. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.